this product information update have some 3D printed items from Shapeways at shapeways.com. I'm sure a lot of folks are familiar with it. Um, I've been looking at the site previously, mostly looking for an NS or CSX cab for some of the uh, SD60s on the NS and the the SD40-3s, I believe they're called, on the CSX. But we're not quite to that stage yet where we're, you know, modifying locomotives. And even yet, we're not really even doing a lot of painting and, and uh, weathering and whatnot. But I did, as I was looking around, I kind of stumbled across some of these items. I did a search for culverts and came up with some cool items here. So I just want to kind of cover these because it's, it's the first time I've actually ordered from Shapeways. I had not tried it before. Uh, it was pretty impressive. Uh, the ordering process was simple. You could track it through the uh, manufacturing and production and packing and shipping. Took about a uh, week and a half, two weeks or so to get them. So not too bad, I don't think. And I'm just going to kind of show you what I got here, where we plan to use them on the layout, and, and who they are, uh, how you can search and find them, if you're interested, on Shapeways. So, the first items are by a gentleman, I believe gentleman, uh, called Mr. Detail Parts. Alright, that's the, uh, the individual whose store these are in. And what I purchased from him were some RCP, basically some concrete pipe, some manhole covers, concrete outlets, and earth ditch inlets. That I might use in a uh, you know a catch basin or something like that. They just look like they'd be pretty handy to have here. I think it's a little better light there. So these are fairly nice, and the one thing I like about this, hopefully, the, I'm not sure how well it might show, but these are printed with a white, strong, and flexible material, which has a little grainy surface, which actually looks, I think, really good for concrete. Which is what all you know most of these items are. Obviously, not not the manholes or the inlet covers, but it looks really, really good uh, to simulate concrete. And you can see some of these are different colors. Uh, what I did was on all of them, I went ahead and primed them. And I'll in, in a moment here, I'll pull out the paints that I used just to kind of show you. And then I painted them, some of them, in the concrete color and the manhole covers. I painted in a couple different colors, just kind of see which ones I kind of like better in terms of the coloring for those. So those items are from Mr. Detail Parts. And from another individual, KR Models, they have a three foot concrete culvert. They have others, they have different sizes, they have some brick ones, I think even some wooden ones, so a lot of things to look at. So very, very interesting site. And again, these turned out very well, I think. You get them in a four pack, these two are primed. This one I painted with my preferred concrete color, and one of them was already installed in the layout. And if I try to get in there, hopefully you can kind of see if the darn thing will focus for me. The actual doesn't look like it's going to do that. Grainy type, and I think it looks very, very good for a concrete texture. So I'm really happy with these. Like I said, uh, this individual has several other products that you might find interesting. Um, I really like these, so I, I picked up those. And then the final from another individual, Engineer. These are actually N-scale culverts, and they're a little bit smaller. But, hey, for HO scale, they're a pretty good size for a small culvert. You might find perhaps under a road or something like that. They come in a set. Of 10 and one side has a larger hole one side has a small hole I don't know which side will be inlet or outlet based on the flow and again these these sets are, are primed and these two here let's see if I can scoot these into the light again or, or I paint them with my concrete color and again the actual graininess on these looks really good I think I don't know how well that's gonna pick up but very impressive so let me pause and just kind of show the paints that I use for these. Alright so to paint them for the primer 
and I, I did use an airbrush. I used Viejo Skeleton Bone Primer. That's this particular color right here. That's the way they look with the skeleton bone. You probably could use any color you want. I just I, don't know, I just picked that color. Then for the concrete color, see the ones that are in the, the concrete type color. My preferred now is the again Viejo Train Color Chalk White. That's what I find looks like a good kind of generic, not real weathered or beat up, but a pretty good base concrete color, ready for some additional weathering. For the manhole cover covers, I wanted to try two different things. So, in a previous product information update, I showed this tire and tracks kit from MIG. So out of this kit, I used, for the darker color, I used the dark tracks. I, I just brushed them on. And I used the rust tracks for the other color. I figured I kind of give you a... Uh, it gives you kind of a rusty type color. I mean, I apologize. I don't have fantastic studio lights, so it probably won't show up great. But I thought those two colors looked relatively good. You know, I wasn't exactly sure which one might look best, so I did some in the darker color, some in the more kind of a rust color. Rust color, and then you can see one is missing here because what I wanted to do with the manhole covers, I actually made a little. I got some uh, half inch tube and from Evergreen and I, I'm i not real good at cutting circles so what I did was I put a square piece on top, trimmed around it, sanded it <clears throat> after I had glued on and then I added one of the manhole covers to the top and then this can then be buried a little bit in the scenery figuring this is kind of an access, a manhole access area somewhere in, in the storm water uh, system. So that I made that up out of the uh, manhole covers and some st uh, styrene tube. And I think I used a, I, don't know, I forget, 020 sheet and sanded it up a little bit. I'm not the, the best at that kind of stuff, but I think it looks relatively acceptable. So that can be another detail part for the layout. Okay, this actually popped into focus here. I apologize for the way it looks, but you can see there. The detail on it and you can clearly read at least ah oh, rats um oh there you go i know it's not perfectly centered but the camcorder is struggling but you can see what that looks like there and it looks pretty cool and i don't know if on the other set that will go ahead and actually focus oh it's trying to so you can see what it looks like there so i, I was pretty impressed with that so these are going to be pretty Pretty fun to use. So let me uh, go back to the uh, other set. Of use quickly moment. again. Um, they're at Shapeways, Shapeways.com, and if you if you do a search initially for RCP pipe, you'll pull up a sample part. <clears throat> those parts there, one of those four, and it'll get you. Then you can get into the Mr. Detail parts area, and he's a, a separate section called Stormwater Management that has all of these items in it. Although the manhole's not as separate, but once you get in there you can find his, his items. He's got a lot of other stuff too that you might you might be interested in. And then for the other items, again from Shapeways, for those just do a search for Culvert. And a bunch of other items will come up and you'll find the items from KR Models and Engineer. KR Models being the, the, the concrete culverts an engineer being these end scale culvert head walls so they will all come up <clears throat> and I found it to be a very easy site to navigate and a lot of really cool stuff on that site not just for model rarity but a lot of good model rarity stuff as well and eventually I think I probably, I probably will pick up some of those NS or CSX cabs that I mentioned so <clears throat> short little update just wanted to kind of cover those 3d printed items I think they're going to be pretty useful. And I said one of the culverts is already installed on the layout. And I'll probably use one of these outlets uh, to drain into the pond. Manhole cover is always useful. RCP pipe can be used as part of the culverts or as a detail part or as a load or all kinds of good items. Uh, there are places that can be used. And again, the earth 
ditch inlets I'm planning to make up some uh, catch basins or other areas that might be might be useful so wanted to cover those so again those are from Shapeways and hopefully you find it interesting and maybe you can get on the site and find some stuff that you might find useful I can recommend it and I had not purchased them like I said before but now that I have and now that I know what things look like and kind of what the different materials give you and again I'll just kind of finish up here by kind of zooming in and hopefully you can see some of the texture on that because when these are painted up I think it looks really nice again to simulate the concrete and that is the uh, that's that materials there's it the white strong and flexible is the material for those the other stuff the mantle covers and the earth ditch inlets are ult frosted ultra detail let me just pop this back up here for completeness so you can see they're the frosted Right there, frosted ultra detail, much smoother. Probably wouldn't work quite as well, I don't think, for concrete. But again, if you have a preference, then you can certainly try it in different materials. Some of them they offer in different materials, some they don't. <clears throat> but I was really impressed. Really do like these 3D items, so I wanted to do a quick little update on those for those that might be looking for some pretty cool detail parts. Third of th heard of 3D printing, maybe hadn't purchased anything yet but I can definitely recommend Shapeways it was uh, very easy to find the stuff uh, the transaction went well material showed up quickly and I'm very impressed with the uh, the quality of the items so that is it for this product information update on Shapeways 3d printed items okay here's an idea that I had for that one uh, earth ditch inlet just to kind of show what I did was I had some drop from the abutment that I had cast that's underneath the bridge some leftover pieces that I'm going to keep this because it might be useful and it turns out it has been so what I did was I just kind of cut a square piece just all by eye scribed it with an exacto blade and then used a, uh, a chisel type blade to kind of get in there so I could what I did was, I don't know if it's going to show too well, made a little, basically, you know, a little countersunk there. <clears throat> Just enough to kind of make it look like the grade is sitting down inside of that piece. And then what I'll do is I'll paint that inside area black. Like I said, it's just over, it's not perfect, but it's just over the size of the grate. So then I'll put the grate in like that. And then with that being black behind it, it should look fairly good for a little, uh, what I did here, I had to put it in this little pan of ice because otherwise I would have cut my fingers, I am positive, when I was trying to chisel it. So I'm just going to loosen this a, t a little bit here. So here's what we have. So that's the block I'll use as kind of a little catch base. And again, probably a lot higher than I need to know, buried in, this, in the scenery a little bit. But that is the the plan for what we're going to do for this little piece here. <clears throat> so that might look pretty interesting. I did have a kind of rusty, actually that, that's real rust. That's from the metal pieces that I used to, as the form for the uh, the plaster when I cast it. And I left it there because I thought it looked, yeah, it might look pretty good. So I think it looks okay, even with the edge there. Um, you know, it's kind of messed up a little bit. Might even messed up a little bit more. And then... Uh, get it weathered up and use that in the somewhere in the layout as a little catch basin so again that's using the uh, the 3d part from shapeways so I just want to kind of show the you know the actual application some of the method of the madness here when I'm buying some of these items so that will be something that we will get installed in the layout most likely this weekend All right, so there it is painted black just kind of waiting and just to just kind of let you know I use the normal exacto and again I just kind of laid the grade on there and outlined it and scribed the outline with this and then you know got a nice about the depth that I wanted then came back with just a normal I don't know if it's a 17 what it is the, just a chisel blade very carefully you know pushed it along and it it came out real nice made a bit of a mess but it came out and fine you know this way and then uh, I actually came up the other way this, oop, this way to clear it up then went ahead and painted it black 
and what we'll do then, although I just give it a little bit of a nick there, we'll take our grate. I'll probably just put a little dab of super glue or something like that in the corner, and there it is. And that's how it'll sit. So then we'll weather it up and get it on the layout. So I just want to kind of cover that. So again, that's something you can do with uh, these pretty cool parts.